Daniel and the Very Hungry Lions Every day, the people of Babylon woke up to the sound of the king's roaring, ravenous lions. And every day, Daniel got out of bed, went to the window, knelt down and prayed to God. Daniel loved God and talked to him each and every day. Daniel trusted God and knew that he was in control of everything that happened. God had made Daniel wise and clever and honest. King Darius liked Daniel and put him in charge. But not everybody was happy. Some important men didn't like Daniel. They wanted to get rid of him. What would they do? They came up with a clever, clever plan. Oh, great king, you must make a law that can never be broken. Anyone who prays to God must be fair to the roaring, ravenous lions. King Darius agreed and he made a law that could not be broken. What should Daniel do? Daniel loved God. Daniel served God. Daniel knew that God was in control. He knew that God could be trusted, even if he was thrown to the roaring, ravenous lions. So, each and every day he went to his window, knelt down and kept on praying to God. What do you think happened next? The nasty men had Daniel arrested and taken before the king. King Darius was sad. He knew that he had been tricked. He didn't want to feed Daniel to the roaring, ravenous lions, but he had made a law that could not be broken. What could he do? King Darius ordered the men to throw Daniel into the den with the roaring, ravenous lions. The king said to Daniel, May the God you serve save you. A great big stone was put over the entrance and all went quiet. King Darius could not sleep. He was so worried about Daniel and he was cross that he had been tricked. Would God keep Daniel safe from the roaring ravenous lions? Just as the sun was rising, King Darius ran to the den. He called out, Daniel, are you there? Did God save you from the roaring ravenous lions? Yes, called Daniel. God sent an angel who shut their mouths. The stone was rolled away and Daniel came out alive and well. There was not a single scratch on him. Now, where are those evil men who tricked me? said King Darius. He ordered his men to throw them into the den, where the very hungry lions ate them all for breakfast. King Darius learnt something important that day. He told everyone in his kingdom what he had learnt. He had learnt... That the God who Daniel loves and serves, the God who rescued Daniel from the roaring ravenous lions, is the one true God who lives forever. The End